So it's coming close to Christmas and you know what that means. £1.50 at Asda. Can you believe it? Hello and welcome to the Fermentation Show where we have got all festive. We've got tinsel, Octavius is wearing his Christmas jumper and we have Peter the Pickle here to spread some Christmas joy. And because it's coming close to Christmas, we thought we'd give you a real treat today. We are doing another FAQs with Alistair. Now our most popular video on this YouTube channel is how to make water kefir. So we thought it would be fitting to make another information video about water kefir grains. This is easily also one of our most popular fermented starter cultures, so it deserves a video in its own right. So as always, I've got eight more of your questions, and this is eight things I wish I knew before making water kefir. So our first question comes from Tyler Morsey, and Tyler Morsey asks, can I use fruit puree or fruit juice instead of sugar? Uh, we get this question a lot. So the question of can you use it instead of sugar is yes, kind of, but before you get too excited, there are some issues with doing this. If you use fruit puree or fruit juice instead of sugar, there is a good chance that your kefir grains will not last that many more ferments. Your kefir grains will eventually just break up more and more and more until you will have to buy new ones. Now I understand that it seems like you put a lot of sugar into your drink and do you know what? That's fair enough, you completely do. But one thing we need to remember about water kefir is that it is used as a health drink. You drink it for the probiotics. So it's kind of a case of if you don't want the sugar, then you might need to find a different ferment. I don't know, that sounds really uptight me saying that, but it just has a lot of sugar. It's like kombucha, you need to put a lot of sugar in it. If you're not looking for that sugar content, maybe switching to milk kefir might be your best option. If not, then you can always stick with your yogurts because they will include no sugar in them at all. So the next question comes from Caitlin Terakee and Caitlin Terakee asks, can I make water kefir without the sugar? It seems like a lot. Uh, we kind of answered this one, but we'll take a deeper dive into this. Water kefir will not survive without the sugar. The bacteria in the water kefir grains actually eat the sugar so it does reduce the sugar content a little bit, but not completely. So again, like the last question, no, you can't really make it without the sugar. I would recommend sticking to the sugar amounts that we say uh, off the top of my head. I don't know what it is, but I will put it there. Thank you, Alistair. So sugar is quite a vital ingredient to the water kefir. So I would recommend not getting rid of the sugar as it just will not work without it. So. I know that probably isn't the answer you wanna hear, but it's it's the answer you're getting, I'm sorry. <laughs> John McAvoy asks, is water kefir equal to milk kefir when it comes to probiotics? And there's a lot of misconception here as well. So kefir is a type of ferment and water kefir and milk kefir sometimes get mixed with the same thing. Milk kefir has a lot of different strains of bacteria in it and is easily one of the best fermented drinks you could be drinking for your gut health. In my opinion, yes, it is probably one of the most helpful drinks for your gut health. However, water kefir has a lot less strains of bacteria in it. So, no, they are not equal to each other. Uh, there's a substantial amount less. Water kefir is still helpful for you, don't get me wrong. I feel like I'm kind of dissing water kefir. But uh, yeah, water kefir is still good for you. It's not as good as milk kefir though. So if you don't like the taste of milk kefir, maybe try putting in a protein shake or a milkshake or even ice cream. We've got an ice cream tutorial with milk kefir. Well, look how this worked out. Is that, is that the link to the... Oh, maybe you should check that out after after this video though. Let, let's just watch this one. <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. But no, milk kefir is always better than water kefir. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people are going to be sad to hear that. But water kefir is still helpful for your gut, so don't get too upset. Sasha Wainwright asks, how long is water kefir's shelf life? Now, this is an amazing question. As a rule, water kefir can stay out of sugar 
for 21 days. That is kind of the maximum it will last. After that, it will probably die. Unfortunately, do not be a water kefir murderer. Use it in that time, please. However, so let's say your water kefir arrives and then last minute you, you win a cruise and you gotta leave right now and you gotta go and it's a month long. And let's say you get back from your amazing cruise. You spent all this time in Norway or the Caribbean or Derbyshire, I don't And you, you see the package and you're like, ah, oh, oh no. They've expired. They are bad. The Oscar goes to Alistair Bird. What you should have done is you should have ordered dehydrated water kefir grains. What dehydrated water kefir grains? What's that? Well, I'll tell you. Dehydrated water kefir grains are the brand new type of water kefir grains we actually sell on our website. And this sounds so much like an advert and I am seeing that now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pretty much dehydrated water kefir grains are ideal for you if you are not planning on using your water kefir grains straight away. They have a longer shelf life and just will last longer if, I, I believe it's up to a year. Again, Alistair, can you help me out there? Thank you. Dehydrated water kefir grains might be your option if you kind of don't know if you're going to get it straight away. So there you are. And I hope you enjoyed your cruise. Sorry, I didn't say that before. Callum Holgate asks, how can I tell if my kefir grains have gone bad? And this is very easy and very simple. So all you need to be looking out for is the consistency of the grains. If the consistency of the grains have gone from that kind of jelly, beady looking thing to mush, very big difference. Trust me, if they've gone bad, you'll know what I mean. If they've gone to mush, they're gone. I'm really sorry, but your kefir grains are dead. Um, yeah, it's as simple as that. If they're mushy and they don't look like grains, then they're probably gone and you need to buy some new ones. Jennifer Hoyle asks, why do I have to activate my grains before use? This is another very common question. So kefir grains don't like to be shipped. Uh, like a lot of our cultures, they don't like to be shipped. And the reason for this is because they're kind of out of their environment. They're in a, a temperature changing environment. Sometimes it can be too cold. They're away from their food. And this can be quite uncomfortable for them. And this is actually a reason why sometimes your starter may die in the post. Uh, again, if this ever happens to you, even if you don't buy it from us, I'd always recommend calling the company and seeing what they can do about it because obviously this is an unfortunate event but maybe they'll replace the grains for you. So it's always worth giving them a call if that happens. But the process of activation is pretty much waking your grains up. So if you're gonna activate your grains, we've, we've got a process again. If you wanna check out the video, we will put it. I was, I was just talking about that. Oh, wow, what a coincidence. Yeah, just check it out. We will be able to show you how to activate your grains. And this is just kind of how to make water clear in general. Uh, but activating your ferment is just a process of waking it up. You usually only have to do it once, so no stress. This is just a one-time thing. Terry Davison asks, what is the best way to flavor my water kefir? Now this is also kind of links in with our first question. So there are so many ways to flavor your water kefir. However, we will just talk about the three most popular way, which is fruit juices, fruit purees, and fruit syrups. So if you've got any of these, you will be able to make a fizzy fermented soda and it is as easy as that. All you need to do is wait until your second ferment. So at the point of carbonation, that is when you want to add your flavoring. You do not want to add your flavoring in the beginning because like I said, it may jeopardize your kefir's health. And our last question is from Cameron Yale and she asks, how long do I have to drink my water kefir once it has been made? Now, we always recommend with our drinks to consume them within 28 days and just make sure they are refrigerated. Making sure they are refrigerated means that there won't be any extra carbonation, which means the bottle probably won't explode on you. And we all love that. <laughs> Drinking it after 28 days, kind of your cool. It does really depend on the type of start. Look, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Fermentation is one of the hardest things to assume because every culture is different. You've got to think in that bottle, there are billions of alive things doing their own thing. And this is the reason why some kombuchas can be more alcoholic than others. Some water kefirs can be more fizzy than others. It really depends on what your water kefir is doing. However, we say standard 28 days to consume your water kefir is usually what you will be stuck with. 
and chances are you're not even going to leave it that long anyway you're probably going to consume it fairly quickly so, so as it is 28 days drink it in that time as that will be your ideal safety time and that is it that is eight things i wish i knew before making water kefir i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you out in some sort of way again if you want to it keeps happening what's your problem Again, if you want to go and watch the water kefir video tutorial, it's right here, apparently. Just kind of springs up on me quite a lot. And like that, I just realized if you're watching that on the TV, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I probably look like a crazy person, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Fermentation Show. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and comment down below what ferment you'd like me to do another one of these videos about. And if you don't want to miss any more episodes like this, please hit the subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, anyway, that's it from me. Happy clearing, and I'll see you next week. Thank you very much.